Northrop Grumman just released a render of its FAXX fighter design, and holy crap, does it look a lot like the YF-23, or a sixth-generation version of it anyway. Now, I've got to give credit to the War Zone, because they appear to be the first outlet to report on this new image. The U.S. Navy's been working toward awarding a production contract to either Northrop Grumman or Boeing for its next stealth carrier fighter for some time now, but there's currently a political scrap going on between Navy leadership and the White House, with the Navy looking to get its new fighter into production and the Trump administration calling for the program to be shelved indefinitely to focus on the Air Force's new fighter, the F-47, alone. Now, the Navy brass has seen bipartisan support from lawmakers in its efforts to get its new jet funded, while the White House has received support from Defense Secretary Pete Hegseth and newly appointed Navy Secretary John Phelan. And who will ultimately win this fight is yet to be determined, but now Northrop Grumman appears to be dropping hints at what they could deliver if the multi-billion dollar contract is awarded to them. This single render was posted on Northrop Grumman's Naval Aviation page with no accompanying text or details, and while it is important to remember that this is just a render and not necessarily an accurate depiction of their real competing fighter design, well, that's not going to stop me from looking closely for some details that might give us some hints about the aircraft's design priorities. Now, right off the bat, we know this new carrier fighter is meant to offer at least a 25% increase in unrefueled range over today's F-35C, which can reach out to about 770 miles before having to turn back or refuel. We also know this jet is expected to offer improved all-aspect stealth, powerful new sensors, a larger internal payload capacity, and the ability to coordinate and control AI-enabled drone wingmen that it's meant to operate alongside. And at first glance, Northrop's design does seem awfully reminiscent of their last stealth fighter, the YF-23, which famously lost out to Lockheed Martin's F-22 Raptor for the Air Force's last air superiority contract. And for aviation buffs all around the world, and maybe even for the U.S. Navy, that could be good news. Despite Lockheed Martin winning that contract, the YF-23 reportedly bested the Raptor in a few important metrics, most notably in terms of radar return and unrefueled range, both areas of emphasis for this new generation of fighters. And as you can see here, Northrop's FAXX design seems to borrow the YF-23's distinct duck bill with that stealthy chine that extends all the way back into the fuselage of the aircraft. The cockpit canopy also shares the YF-23's canopy bow, or that curved piece of metal used to fuse the two pieces of indium tin oxide treated clear laminate composites that are used in modern fighter canopies instead of glass. Now, this is an important addition because single-piece canopies, like the one found on the F-22 Raptor, are really expensive to build and to replace. Now, the front landing gear does appear to be positioned further back on the FAXX as compared to the YF-23, and based on the jet's sleek profile, that may well be to allow room for a sizable active electronically scanned array radar in the nose. But the most glaring difference between this FAXX render and the YF-23 is absolutely intake placement. The YF-23 has two large S-shaped air intake ducts on the underside of the fuselage, and that placement is better for airflow while flying at high angles of attack and tends to be simpler to design and build. The FAXX, on the other hand, has one visible intake on top of the fuselage with a second logically mirrored on the other side, and we just can't see it in the picture. Now, placing intakes on the top of a fighter like this can come with some real benefits in terms of reducing both radar and infrared detectability from below all in exchange for some engineering headaches. Now, this might also suggest a high surface ceiling, as placing your intakes on the top of your aircraft sort of assumes that you intend to be flying at a higher altitude than the jets that you're shooting at. Of course, jet inlets and exhaust nozzles are among the most secretive aspects of stealth aircraft design, so 
It seems pretty unlikely to me that the intake we see here is exactly representative of Northrop's design, even if the placement could be. 